Eyewitness News reporter Kevin Rader joins us live with the new fight at the State House. Kevin? Jenny, Republicans say that there is still time with four weeks to go in this legislative session to correct any misperceptions with this bill. But with the final four tipping off in four days, some are wondering tonight if it will be too little too late. Governor Mike Pence kept a low profile Monday, electing to send Lieutenant Governor Elsperman to an Indiana law school appearance in his stead. No doubt still trying to figure out what to do after an unflattering attempt to explain why he signed the RIFRA bill to a nationwide audience. Final question, final yes or no question, Governor. Do you think it should be legal in the state of Indiana to discriminate against gays or lesbians? George. It's a yes or no question. Your, uh, come on. I think that the fact that he did not answer questions, some questions clearly, uh, yes. Speaker of the House Brian Bosma even alluded to the governor's appearance, saying that is basically why he and Senator David Long decided to speak to the media Monday. Last week, the governor, when he signed the bill, said, I, would, this, I don't believe this discriminates against anyone, and if it did, I wouldn't have signed the bill. It would have been helpful if he would said that yesterday to clarify where he stands. But uh, the fact that he didn't, for whatever reason, uh, we're setting the record straight here today. So both Republicans came out to say... We're going to encourage our colleagues to adopt a clarifying measure of some, fact, uh, some sort to remove this misconception about the bill. But neither were prepared to show how that would be accomplished. In fact, when confronted with the very same question the governor encountered on Sunday, they deferred. Even today in, in the press availability, when the question was asked, well, will this allow somebody to discriminate against somebody on the basis of sexual orientation, the answer is, we'll have to let the courts decide. Democrats blasted Republicans, saying the majority was clearly out of touch. People are angry, they're upset, and they're insulted. And uh, some sort of patchwork solution isn't going to get it done. Now, Democrats are calling for a total repeal of the bill. You heard that. Republicans saying they just need time to clarify. More on both of those tonight on Eyewitness News at 6. And also, we heard Republicans today say they weren't hearing about many of these issues in floor debate here during the legislative session when this bill was up for debate. We'll take a more close look at that on Eyewitness News at 6. At the State House, Kevin Rader, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. So much more of this story to get to tonight. All right, Kevin, thanks.